Hey everybody, it's Dr. Strife here, bringing you a special video. Today we're going to talk about something that has been on my mind a little bit lately, and that is digital games and physical games. Now, I'm more of a physical guy. I love my physical games. I had to get rid of a lot of my physical games, unfortunately, in the past, uh, due to personal needs, but... You know, I still want to go back and get games physically if I can. And so it's very important to me. However, recently I was faced with a dilemma due to the uh, coronavirus going on. Um, I was very worried about my pre-order at GameStop for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because Final Fantasy VII means a lot to me. So I wanted the physical edition. I couldn't get on the Soldier First Class, but I was able to get the limited edition. However, uh, due to the fact that you know, things were uncertain with retailers, I had decided to cancel that and go with a digital pre-order just to be safe. Uh, good thing I did because they ended up completely closing GameStops to where you can't go inside and I don't think you can get your pre-orders at the moment from what I've heard. Um, I think they're trying to work on that or people who haven't finished paying them off that there's a way for them to, but for right now. You know, it's not looking not looking great for people that have pre-ordered in store or only put part of money down on it. So I went digital with that. Another purchase I went digital with was uh, the Mega Man Zero ZX collection, mainly because it was hard to find anywhere. Like I don't know why this game is so hard to find, but I ended up going digital, and Amazon was sold out. Like a local Walmart had it, but. Because of everything going on, I didn't feel right just going up for a game. I just didn't feel right with it. Plus, on top of it, I had like a $10 gift card. So, I saved 10 bucks. So, you know, that also kind of pushed me to it. So, I have a digital copy of it. I'm thinking about getting a physical PS4 version so I can play on the PS4 at some point. But, for now, like... I went digital with it, and it started to get me thinking. Like, am I going to go digital with other games? Especially with everything going on right now. Because, like, I can't take my games to trade. Like, if I like to trade games sometimes to GameStop or to a local game uh, shop that I have nearby. But, you know, unfortunately they're not open right now. And on top of it, um, GameStop's probably not taking trades right now anyway. Even if so, like, I don't want to take a chance exposing anybody to anything. I don't think I have anything, but still, you don't want to take that chance, right? Um, so, yeah. I think for now, like, I'm wondering, am I going to go digital? I think with pre-orders and stuff, I don't know, man. Like, am I going to give up physical for good? No. I mean, I'm always going to get physical. In fact, I'm going to try to find a way whenever I get the money to get a physical copy of Final Fantasy VII Remake for the collection. Um, I still want to get Persona 5 Royal. I need to wait until I get the funds, but I'm definitely going to try to get that one physical. So, um, I did get Grand Blue Versus for, for uh, digital, but the only reason I got that digital was because it wasn't coming out to the States for a month, so I ended up ended up importing that digitally uh, from the Singapore PSN store. So, yeah, that's a lot of games this year that I've done digital. In fact, I've done more digital games this year than physical. Um, in fact, I, on, I did buy Dragon Ball Kakarot, but I ended up trading it back in. So, technically, I think, if you're talking about new games that come out this year, I did those digital. Yeah, I did those digital. And it's kind of crazy to think, because I was a person that's just like, I have to have all physical, but... I mean, the comfort I have, especially at this time, is knowing that when it comes out, I'll have it. When it comes out, I'll be able to play it. And that is the thing that makes me feel a little better about it. On top of it, I'm not getting out there getting anybody sick or anything like that. Um, you know, or exposing myself or my wife or my family any germs or anything like that so you know i just think that at a time like this you got to make sure your priorities are straight of course entertainment is fun and you know and we need to be entertained sometimes and we don't have to give up our hobbies but sometimes i think it's sometimes you have to make a wiser choice 
And if he can't later on, get it physically, get it. But if he can't, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I do feel like there are benefits to having physical, especially like if network servers go down and you need to reinstall a game, you can do it just by having the disc. Um, things like that. Um, and there's just a joy to finding it, holding it, especially if it comes with like physical goodies. That's always such a joy. But, you know, I think at this point, as long as I get to play the game and have some type of ownership of it, I feel great about it. I feel okay with it, I should say. Um, I really want the physical copy, but the way things are going, I don't know if I would ever get that on release. So that's why I decided to go digital with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, is this something I'm going to be doing in the future completely? Mm, no, probably not, but for a few titles, I may end up doing it. Just because it's going to be more convenient, especially with the way things are going now. So guys, let me know what you think. Are you going all digital because of all this? Or if you were physical, were you already a digital person? Or you're still sticking gun-ho to the physical? Have you maybe have lost some pre-orders due to GameStop not being able to go in and let you do it? Hopefully that gets taken care of for the people that have pre-ordered places like GameStop. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. This is Dr. Strive signing out.